Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable two-year-old little boy. This week marks week three of our pantry challenge, so I'll be sharing what I made for my family this week for dinner. Welcome to week three of the pantry, fridge, and freezer challenge. I'm trying out two new recipes for dinner today. So in my heavy pot, I have one pound of pork sausage. The recipe actually called for Italian sausage, but I didn't have any. So I added garlic powder and fennel, which is what I read you could um, add online to make your pork breakfast sausage taste like Italian sausage. I also have some fresh, mu fresh mushrooms, excuse me, and I have onion and garlic, and I've just cooked them up. To that, I've added some chicken broth, I'm going to add some tomatoes, and these are just diced tomatoes, just diced tomatoes. And then I'm adding a big can of crushed tomatoes. And I will make sure, of course, to leave both recipes in the description box. Next, I'm going to add in some pepperoni. And some Italian seasoning. And then the recipe says to cover the pot and let it simmer for about 20 or 30 minutes. And then at the end of that simmer time, it, it um, calls for you to add in some Parmesan cheese. So while the soup is cooking up, let's get started on the cheesy breadsticks. Okay, so on my cookie sheet, I have a roll of the classic crust. This is the pizza crust. You don't wanna use thin crust, just the regular old classic crust. And I have it spread out on parchment paper. And then in my bowl, I have some butter, garlic powder, and Italian seasoning. And I'm just gonna spread this all over the crust. Next, you're gonna take your mozzarella cheese and just sprinkle it all over. Next, it says to add Parmesan cheese, and I couldn't tell from the recipe if it meant like the Kraft uh, grated Parmesan cheese or, you know, like the, the fresh stuff. So I'm just adding the fresh stuff. I'm just sprinkling it on top. Okay, now I'm just gonna pop this into my oven. It is preheated to 400 degrees and I'm gonna bake this for about 20 minutes. Oh, I forgot, it says to cut your breadsticks before you put them in the oven. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so here is the pizza soup and it definitely tastes like pizza. I topped it with some mozzarella cheese and then here are the cheesy breadsticks and they are pretty tasty. And so we're just gonna be dunking these breadsticks in the pizza soup. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight and we'll see you at the next meal. So I am trying out a new recipe for dinner tonight. It's out of my old cookbook. And here's a recipe, savory chicken satay. And here is uh, what the picture looks like. So I've already prepped my chicken. I've pounded it out and cut it in strips. And now I'm gonna work on the sauce. So in my bowl, I have some olive oil and brown sugar. I'm getting ready to add in a package of Lipton onion soup mix. And here is what the box looks like. And now I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of peanut butter. And I've never tried this out before. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. I think I did, I said a new recipe. So I'm just trying to stir the peanut butter up a little bit. And this is the natural one, so it's got some oil in there. And I'm just gonna give this a good stir. And so here's my chicken that I cut in strips. I need to drain the water out of there a little bit more. And then here are 
the skewers that I'm gonna be using. So you're supposed to soak the skewers so they don't burn when you're grilling. So I'm gonna do that. So I'm just gonna drain out this uh, chicken, this water from this chicken, and then pour the sauce on there. Now it's only about 11 o'clock in the morning or so here. And the recipe says to let this marinate for 30 minutes. I'm gonna let this marinate until, you know, till it's dinner time. So um, anyway, I'll be back to show you what it looks like. Okay, so here's the kebabs and here's our dinner. They do have a strong peanut butter taste, you know, just like Thai food does. So if you're not crazy about peanut butter, I would definitely cut back on the peanut butter, but I think they have a good flavor. And I am serving um, the kebabs with some rice and naan. So here is the rice that I had in my pantry. I just cooked that up. And then here is the naan. We had one piece left from Trader Joe's. I do have another package that I need to get through, but um, it looks a little bland, I know. I did not feel like making any vegetables tonight. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner and I will see y'all next time. So I wanted to show you all what I made for breakfast this morning. This was in my cabinet, of course, and I actually picked this up this past Christmas um, at an after Christmas sale at Walmart, cinnamon roll, um, pancake and waffle mix, and here it is on the plate, serving it with some pre-cooked base bacon from Costco. So for dinner tonight, we are having some breaded panko shrimp that I picked up from Costco. I actually forgot that it was in my freezer, but here it is. Um, I got it because a lot of people said it was really good and it really is. I made mine in the air fryer and it turned out crunchy and really tasty. I have gotten panko breaded shrimp from, Co uh, not Costco, Kroger, their brand. I did not like it at all. This is really good, lots of flavor. Serving it with some plain old mac, um, Kraft macaroni and cheese and some green beans on the side. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So I am just throwing dinner together tonight. And so I cooked up a box of this broccoli and cheese rice mix from Winco, a grocery store. So I prepared it according to package directions. It's cooled off now and I've just got it kind of sitting to the side. With it, I am going to add this chicken and broccoli and I've also got some onions in there. So chicken I had in my fridge and it's from Aldi. I just chopped it up a bit. I used half a head of fresh broccoli and um, I've also got some chopped onions in there as well, sauteing it in clarified butter. And I also used some of this seasoning as well. So what I'm gonna do is combine the chicken and broccoli and the rice mix. I am going to add some cream of onion soup to it. And then in my freezer, I just had random cheese. Um, so I've got just a little bit of this Mexican, I'm um, spicy Mexican blend. And then I have these two cheeses, cheddar, and then this might be Monterey Jack, or I'm not sure what it is. But I'm gonna put half of the cheese in the mixture and then the other half on top. I'm just gonna bake it. So quick and easy meal tonight. I'll show you what it looks like as soon as it comes out of the oven. Okay, so here is our dinner. I ended up adding some French fried onions on top before I popped it in the oven and I tasted it. It's pretty good. The rice by itself, I didn't like, so I'm glad that I was able to repurpose this um, into a casserole, serving it with a mini croissant from Trader Joe's. I have shown these before on our channel. We really like them a lot. It says mini muffin, but they're actually pretty big. They're about the size of my hand. So I do let mine thaw out. It's not required. Um, you can bake them from frozen, but they taste 100% better to me when you let them thaw out. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So I am prepping our dinner for tonight. I am going to use this cooking sauce from HEB, it's beef stew, but I am going to be making mine as a roast. So here is my crock pot. And at the very bottom of the crock pot, I have um, a few of these pearl onions. I used these onions last week when I made Sal Salisbury steak meatballs, so they're in the bottom. Also in the bottom, I have some shallots that I had in my fridge that I'd forgotten about, about three shallots that I chopped up. There's one. 
And then I also have some fresh mushrooms and a couple of potatoes, probably medium sized potatoes. I seasoned the meat with this and then what else? So I've never used this before. I normally make Mississippi pot roast, but um, tells you how to make it. And I am not going to add the beef broth. I usually never add, well not usually, I never add um, liquid to my roast. Um, I just use the, um, the, the juice from the meat. To me, it renders enough of the broth or liquid. So um, that's it. I'm just gonna pour this sauce on and then let it go low and slow for eight to 10 hours. Okay, so here's our dinner. I let this um, roast cook for about 10 and a half hours, serving it over some rice and with a yeast roll. These are some yeast rolls I had in my freezer from Kroger, and they're actually pretty good. They're not sweet. I will say I do enjoy a sweet yeast roll. They are slightly sweet, not a lot. Um, and then this is the roast, the rest of the roast in the crock pot. If you'll remember, I did not add any liquid to this. Um, it called for two cups of chicken, not chicken broth, beef broth or water, I can't remember which, but it makes a ton of its own liquid. That's Harrison, he's playing, there he is. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time.